Hey guys, welcome back to our channel. So today I have done a video showing how I went from looking like this to this. So now I'm just doing a fake yawn pretending that I just woke up when actually I woke up probably like an hour prior to this. Um, and now I'm just putting on my headband and tying back my hair so that I can start on my makeup. Under my foundation I always moisturise my face, put on sun cream and then for foundation I'm using my Stila foundation which I will put in the down bar below. Um, I just like to swipe that on with a little spoon applicator and then I get my beauty blender and blend that out. To conceal my dark circles or bags, I'm just using the concealer that comes um, in the lid of the Stila foundation. And because I'm lazy, I'm just literally dipping my beauty blender in that concealer and then dabbing it on. Next, I'm just using my Urban Decay Naked Skin Concealer as a highlight. So I'm just using that down the bridge of my nose, slightly onto my forehead, my chin and under my eyes. As some of you may know, I like to use my Hourglass Luminous Light Powder as my actual face powder um, and then I tend to build it up around the areas that you would use a bronzer. For my blush, I'm then going in with my MAC Blush in Melba, um, using that on the apples of my cheeks and blending it out slightly. The highlighter that I'm using is from Chanel and I'll put it in the down bar below. Um, I just like to use that on my cheekbones, down the bridge of my nose, cupid's bow, a little bit around my chin, forehead, around my temples. Um, I pretty much like to use it everywhere because then I also use it as a base for my eyeshadows and I put that all the way up to my brow bone as well. For my eyebrows, I'm using this Maybelline Brow Satin. Um, I don't really like this. I was forced to buy it because my normal prestige brow pencil, which I finally grew to like, ended up being sold out, that price line, like the last five times I've gone, so I had to buy this. And it takes really long to apply, because otherwise it looks too crayony. y But um, I had to use it anyway. And then I'm just using a brow gel to hold my brows in place. The eyeshadows I'm using are from my Urban Decay Naked 2 palette. So I'm starting off by using the shade Tease, and I'm using that in my crease. Um, and I'm also putting that on my lower lash line as well. Then I patted the shade Chopper into my eyelids. Um, and then afterwards I grabbed one dip of Busted and one dip of Tease again and sort of blended that again into my crease. And I held the tissue there so that when I blended it, it would sort of make a neat line. I'm then grabbing my highlighter again, the Chanel one, and I use that to highlight the inner corners of my eyes. I'm then just going again um, under my eyes by with the Stila concealer um, just to cover any glitter that has fallen and then I'm going to powder that again with my um, Hourglass Luminous Light Powder. Next I'm taking a Rimmel London Exaggerate Waterproof Eye Definer and because it's kind of like a car um, crayon texture I'm just using that on my upper waterline and then later on I'm going to be sort of using it to smudge out a winged liner sort of look. I'm just going to play this section um, on regular speed just so you can really see how I've done the eyeliner and then on the other end of this eyeliner is actually the little smudger so once you've done the eyeliner even if you stuff it up a little bit you can use the smudger to just make it look like it was meant to look like that. Next I'm just taking the exact same liner but in a different colour and using that on my lower waterline. Um, before the colour was, the first colour was brown but I'll put it in the down bar below anyway. 
For my mascara, I use these two MAC mascaras. The first one is for my upper eyelashes, which was the one that was on the right. And then the one on the left I use for my lower eyelashes. This is because the one on the right is really good. It curls your eyelashes um, without you having to curl them yourself. And it really gives a lot of volume, whereas the one on the left, which was the blue one that I use on my lower lashes, um, I'm pretty sure it's waterproof, so it's really good well, for me particularly because my eyes always water for some reason. Um, so it doesn't exactly smudge in case I get a little tear come down. Um, yeah, and it is more lengthening, I suppose. After I apply mascara on the top, I often use tweezers to kind of like pull out any clumps. On the ends, I also have a couple of eyelashes that hang down, which are really annoying. So I like to just pull mascara off that. And what I was going to say when I was doing this was that um, I never tend to pull any eyelashes out except, of course, this time I did. So that was great. It looks really disgusting. But yeah, usually I tend to just pull the mascara off the eyelashes without actually ripping out my eyelash. But for some reason, it just happened to be caught on film. For my lips, I'm using two different lip liners, and then on top of that, I'm using my MAC lipstick in Kinda Sexy. Um, for the lip liners, I will be linking that in the down bar below, so if you want to know what they are, then just check down there. So that is the makeup look done. Now I have to move on to my hair. So first of all, um, what you'll be needing is a comb, some hairspray, which I like a not too strong holding hairspray, um, some hair ties and bow pins. So first up what I like to do is just use the comb to pull all my hair back and then after I've got it in a position where I'm sort of liking it, um, then I tend to spray all my hair and then comb it back again and that will just really slick down all those baby hairs and like the little frizzy guys um, and just make it look a lot more neat and slick. Also don't forget to do under your hair because you tend to forget about the little frizzles under there and um, after you finish your, they don't always look too good, especially when your hair's fully pulled up, they're definitely visible. May I suggest using, um, well in here I used two hair ties, but may I suggest using a very strong hair tie to really hold your hair up, um, otherwise your hair will droop and then there's no point to this whole hairstyle. Um, so I just went over and sprayed a little bit more hairspray and I'm just kind of brushing it back once more just to make it extra, extra neat. For your bun, you may need to play with it a couple of times. I actually redid this bun like three times. Um, yeah, you sort of need to just play around until you get something that you like. And then I just used two mirrors to sort of check out what it looks like at the back, see if there's any bits I need to pin down, and there, you're good to go. So now that my hair and makeup is done, I have gotten changed and put on my jewellery. Um, so this is the final look. I did ask my brother to film what my outfit and everything looked like together. Um, the battery was like really low, so it did go blurry and I only got one shot, but I'll show you it anyway, just to get an idea of what it looked like. Um, and I'm very sorry about the poor quality. Thank you guys so much for watching. I hope you enjoyed this video, get ready with me tutorial. Um, please don't forget to check out mine and Ruth's Instagram and I will see you next time.